In this video, we will continue with equations involving absolute values. You will find this on page 369 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at the now another example. Solve the equation. This absolute value, 2x minus 5, is equal to in bars 1 minus x. Can you see the difference? So now there's two absolute value bars on both sides. Okay. I want you to introduce you to both methods. So the first one will be the same as we did in the previous one. So you will put this positive option, negative option, and get your two answers. Method two, to solve the equation of the form, we can use the rule that if we square both sides, then basically it's going to disappear, that bars. So I square both sides. Remember, it's a quadratic, quadratic. I take everything to one side, and then I solve the quadratic equation, and I also get the values. But don't forget that you must test. So if I test 1 is equal 1, test 3 is equal to 3. So both will be solutions. x is 2 and x is 4. I think it's sometimes good to try out both methods. So I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1a and try to do it on both methods. And then number 2a also on both methods. Just to see that you are coming to the same solutions. Okay, let's start. Number 1a. So this is going to be 1 plus 2x. This is going to be also in bars. But first we're going to try it on the old method. So that, make a bracket, so it's 1 plus 2x. And that's going to be 3x plus 5. Or 1 plus 2x is going to be negative 3x plus 5. So, 1 plus 2x, okay, I think I can already simplify this step. Let's just do it. So, it's 2x minus 3x equals 5 minus 1. So, negative 1x is equal to 4. So, therefore, the value of x is equal to negative 4. Or, I can say, in this case, I have to just multiply in that negative. So negative 3x minus 5, so this is going to be 2x plus that 3x, and that's negative 5 minus 1. So this is going to be 5x is equal to negative 6 I divide, so therefore x is equal to negative 6 over 5, or x is equal to negative 1 and 1 over 5. Okay, before I do the testing, I want to first emphasize the other method. Let's just do it on um, by using another color. So basically, I square both sides to get rid. So I say 1 plus 2x, and I square this. And I say 3x plus 5, and I square it. Okay, do the short method. So it's 1 squared, multiply, multiply with each other. Plus 4x squared is equal to, this is going to be 9x squared, plus, this is going to be 15x times 2, so it's 30x, and 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, and if I simplify, taking everything to one side, we can take it to this side, because there's the big amount. So then, it's going to be 9x squared plus 30x, okay, I think I'm going to write it, sorry, I am make myself just easier, okay, so, it's not necessary, so plus, I'm just writing the like terms in this, next to each other, okay, so basically, this is going to be 5x squared, uh, and this is going to be plus 26x, plus 24. Let's just move it up a little bit. Okay, and now, if I'm going to factorize, let's just see quickly. If I say 6 times 4, I just want to take another color. 6 and 4. And let's say, if I say 5 and 1. 
So this will be 20. Okay, this is 20 plus 6. That will give you the 26. Signs are the same, positive, positive. So basically, I'm going to get 5x plus 6 and x plus 4. So therefore, x, put this equals 0, so it's minus 6 over 5, or x is negative 4. And now I do my test, or check. And I'm just going to substitute it in there. So I'm going to, in, in this one, I'm going to say, yeah, let's just do it here, also. so it's 1 plus, okay, it doesn't matter if I put the negative, let's go on this one, but it's exactly the same, do you see? So negative 4, okay, but just in your bars. Uh, is equal, I, I, I'm, I'm checking here, <laughs> okay, because this was my original one. So 1 plus 2, negative 4, um, no, let's just correct this. I'm checking to do the same again. 4, 3, negative 4, plus 5, bar. Okay, so this is going to be negative 8 plus 1, so it's negative 7. This is going to be negative 12. Uh, plus, so it's also going to be negative 7. Sorry, let's just get the bar. So this becomes positive, positive. So, ah, oh, this one is going to work. Okay. And then if I do it in this one, and again I'm going to cheat a little bit by just putting it in there. If you take a pencil, it will also work. So I'm going to take negative 6 over 5, negative 6 over 5, and then this will just change. Okay. Again, if you see fractions and you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself, just use a calculator. So it's going to be negative 6 ABC 5 times 2 equals plus 1 equals. And this is going to be in bars, uh, negative 1 and 2 over 5. And this is going to be negative 6 ABC 5 times 3 plus 5. And it's going to be 1 and 2 over 5. And if I simplify this, then this is going to be 1 and 2 over 5 equals 1 and 2 over 5. So it's also going to work. So I can end up by saying both x equals negative 6 over 5 and or, or x is equal to negative 4 will be solutions something like that doesn't matter okay but both is correct let's do number two and again i'm going to do it on both methods you don't have to do it in the exam definitely not so get to used to a method and you can just keep on with that method. It's just in the beginning, it's good to expose you a little bit to both methods. Okay. And then you do the one that you prefer. I think method one is the one that you did previously, so maybe that will be the one that you will continue with, but it's still up to you. Okay, right, let's just do number 2a. Okay, so 2a. And this one will be 2x minus 7 is equal to 4x plus 6. Okay, again, I'm going to do method 1. And I'm going to say 2x minus 7 is equal to 4x plus 6 or 2x minus 7 is equal to negative 4x plus 6. So 2x minus 4x is equal to 6 plus 7. So negative 2x equals 13. Divide negative 2, divide negative 2. So x is negative. Uh, you can keep it like that, or 6 and up, half. 
Atin correct ka. Or you can say it's 2x minus 7, negative 4x minus 6. So 2x plus 4x, negative 6 plus 7. So 6x equals um, positive 1. Divide 6, divide 6. So x is equal to 1 over 6. Okay, and now um, I'm going to show you method 2. So let's just look at method 2. If we get the same, that's actually what I want to try to show you. So I square both sides. If I have an absolute value equals an absolute value, but there must be nothing else, only that 2. So then I can end up with 2x minus 7 squared is equal to 4x plus 6 squared. Then, if I simplify this, do the short way, so it's 4x squared, multiply, so it's negative 14x times 2, negative 28x, negative, so it's 49. And this is going to, 40, so it's going to be 16x squared, 24, so it's going to be 48x plus 36. So it's going to be, if I take it to that side, just because the big one is there, 16 x squared minus 4x squared, get to my method, plus 48x, by writing the like terms. And then if I move it a little bit, uh, plus 36 um, minus 49. So this is going to be 12x squared, and this is going to be, if I add that to 76 x and if I'm going to subtract minus 13 and if I'm going to factorize just get the color so make it 13 and 1 and you can make it 2 and 6 Let's see if it's working it's subtract um, so yo okay so 6 times 13 is 78 minus that 2 oh, it's working because the overcross gets plus minus so it's going to be 2x plus 13 and 6x minus 1. Again, especially this factorization was a bit challenging. So I think in this method you didn't need to factorize. So in method 1 was easier. Okay, but still I put this equals 0, this equals 0. So 2x not necessary, I can go for the answer already. So I can say x is equal to negative 13 over 2 or x is equal to 1 over 6. That's my 2. And again I do my test. My check. And I take my original. Okay, what's my original? I'm, I'm just checking it from here then I... Ah, that's my original. So it's going to be, and I'm going to write it, 2x minus 7, and that's equal to 4x plus 6. Okay, now I'm just going to substitute. So it's going to be 2, and then it's that, oh, again it's opposite. Okay, but it doesn't matter. This time I will take this one first. Minus 13 over 2 minus 7 or 4 minus 13 over 2 plus 6 or okay and again use your calculator so negative 13 abc2 times 2 equals minus 7 equals so it's negative 20 in bars then uh, negative 13 abc2 times 4 equals plus 6. And again, it's like that. And that will be make, give me 20 equals 20. Oh, so that's correct. Uh, 13 over 2. Yes, this is the one I was using first. No, it's actually the same. Now again, I'm going to cheat a little bit my checking. 
by just replacing this. And if you do it in pencil, you can do the same basically. Okay, and then this will, I'm just sort of wrapping all that, cleaning all that. And now I just take my one over six, this one. Okay, and then I'm just going to, if you want to press again, so this is one third minus seven. Because this is two over six, we find, but you can just press it in like you want. So this is going to be negative six and two over three. And then this is four over six. This is going to be, okay, so you can even say four ABC six plus six. And that is going to be six and two thirds. But again, this absolute value will make this one positive. And this one stay positive. Just to get my pen correct. So again, I see that this is also a solution. And I'm ending off by saying, therefore, both x equals 6, 2 over 3, or x is equal to, uh, no, 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 not 2 over 3, sorry. I'm checking in correct place. I check here. Uh, negative six and a half, or x is equal to one over six for solution. Okay, that's how you do it.